Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Dollars No Change. If it ain't about money, it ain't about a motherfucking thing. You dig? Listen, listen, listen. Your boy is back with another reaction video. And today we got Cardi B. Listen, listen. Cardi B cries out, saying that her career is being controlled by the industry. She do not control her own career. This is what I've been trying to tell y'all, man. Open up your eyes. Because if you don't open up your eyes, you will believe the lies. Listen, listen. It's your boy Dollars No Change. If it ain't about money, it ain't about a thing. But we're going to get into this video, and we're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's up, man. Listen. What's good, family? Welcome back to the channel. In this video right here, we have Cardi B cries on Instagram Live. I feel like a prisoner to fame. Says she's in trouble and wants to quit. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I already watched about like 30 seconds of this video right here. It's five minutes long. I just watched like 30 seconds to see what type of vibe she's on. What is she even talking about? And within those th first 30 seconds in itself, she had mentioned how she constantly feels like there's a devil showing up. Uh, and how like there's always just problems within the industry don't wish for fame and all these different things and I want to give this full video a watch just for the fact that it's like yo this is like the real genuine side and realistic point of view of a lot of people who have that mainstream fame celebrity type status like constantly where we see Kanye West all the time having to argue with paparazzi like imagine walking out your crib every day of your life and you have basically stalkers like people stalking you taking photos of you that that joint is not desirable you feel what i'm saying maybe for a little like week or so you know what i'm saying just so you can feel important feed your flesh feed your ego you got lights camera flash and all that stuff but realistically yeah a lot of the celebrities feel like prisoners to fame like cardi b says right here and they don't enjoy it they wish they could just get away from it but it's like Bro, even if Cardi B stopped what she's doing, she gonna be famous. <laughs> so it's like, there's no way she could possibly get away from me, y'all. So let's get straight into this video and let's hear what she has to say in this live. On a Facebook show, I wasn't even gonna fucking put it back up. This is why I'm not going to award shows. This is why I'm like, I have developed this thing called anxiety because I'm scared. I'm tired. A bitch is tired. And I didn't really want to, I, I, I don't want to be the type of person to be like, oh, Cardi, you're always complaining about I love HoneyBook. It handles everything from proposals, contracts, okay, payments, much. everything I need on one platform. Stop. Yeah. About everything, but do y'all see how I could have an amazing day, an amazing night with no drama, no bullshit, everything goes right, and for some reason it's like a devil, like it's like a devil, like it's just like, it's just always something, like it's like this is why I don't want to be famous, this is why I don't like to hang out, this is why I don't want to be anywhere this shit is insane this way i just want to be locked with my fucking hood bitches this why i just want to be yo bacardi though this is what you wanted this is what you worked so hard for to be rich famous you feel me getting all the fruits of the labor now you crying about the success listen listen cardi this is what comes with being a celebrity. If you didn't know that, then now you know it now. You got to suck it up, baby girl. BX. <laughs> Going to my hood friend house to smoke hookah and fucking drink. That's what I'm saying. I'm reading, I'm reading this comment right here. It says the devil, huh? She never finished her statement when she mentioned the devil. She was like the devil that she stopped herself twice motherfucking coronas because once i do these big events it's like she it's wants like all eyes on me i gotta watch everything i gotta say i gotta this i gotta that then i have to wake up with mad calls about oh cardi we're in trouble this isn't that blah blah it's so un guys i i really feel like i'm a prisoner of fame like fame has turned me into a prisoner I'm not myself Dang. anymore. I can't be myself anymore. This is like, this is, ugh, I hate fame. Listen, man, if this is what fame do to you, I don't want it, man. I'd rather stay independent, keep dropping my music whenever I want to, you feel what I'm saying, work when I want to, because I'm my own motherfucking boss, you dig? 
Listen, man, if this is what fame bring when you get to the, you know, to the top, I don't want it, man. I just want to live a comfortable life. I don't want to deal with all that. You feel me? Because, nigga, you keep calling my phone every five seconds. I'm banging on you, man. Stop calling me, man. Stop calling me. I don't care about what they talk about in the blogs, man. Click. Oh, my gosh. When, when, if y'all ever make a wish, or if, if, have y'all ever, like, at, on 11 11 make a wish, and you guys be like, I wish I was rich and famous? Don't wish to be famous, bro. Wish to be rich. Y'all don't want fame. Yeah. Once you be in fame, once you become famous, you you not you can't be yourself. You can't joke. You can't say it's nothing. You can't smack nobody. You can this and that. You can't correct nobody. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. You can make jokes. You can't even host a party and say what you want to motherfucking say. You can't, you can't do anything. I'm really a prisoner of fucking fame. Fame, 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 fame. I don't even have a voice anymore. I can't have a voice anymore. I can't say anything. I can't. I can't. I can't. I swear to God, if it wasn't for and, this, and this is this is what so many people have been saying for so long, and how like even just being famous, you don't have a voice. You can't really speak out and say the things you want to say. You can't be yourself, and everything right here is literally being said by Cardi B. So when you when people be wondering, oh, where do you get this information from? It's from people literally. The top people in the industry letting us know. Because her stylist is, st is styling her the way she needs to dress. She, she needs to have a specific image. You can't say certain things. You can't really talk about, say she wanted to talk about Jesus and put people on. She can't do that. You know what I'm saying? The, her, her publicists are going to be like, nah, you can't say that. It's not going to be good. Blah, blah, blah. So everything in her life is being controlled on top of the fact that she can't even go to the grocery store and get some cookies if she wanted to. And without being bombarded. Fucking Facebook show. I will delete all my social medias right now because I'm so tired. I don't understand how I could go to an event. I'd be like, I'm going to be on my best behavior. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then boom, the next day, the internet is like, let me find something. Let me find something. Everybody could joke around. But once Cardi joke around, bitch or whatever. But you know what? Um, if I, one thing about me is I'm a Libra. I'll be mad about something for an hour. Then a couple hours later, whatever. After I pick up my daughter from school. And, and one thing I do want to make clear, like, because I know there may be a lot of people watching right now that want to start like a YouTube channel or whatever it is, podcast, Instagram. Start it. You know what I'm saying? Gain your following. This is a, We're looking at an entirely different level of fame right here. Like, it, it's all right to have that moderate type level where you walk outside, people know you. Oh, cool. But it's kosher. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. She's at the level where it's like you got, you walk outside, you have 20 paparazzis waiting. You feel what I'm saying? That can feel like. So it's uh, really, it's a great business to have. So you're looking at 30, 40,000 a month. I, like, like, trapping. Um. And my, and my mom wake up and everything, I'm going to go to my friend's house and I'm going to go fucking chill because this is, I can't, I hate fame. I hate being famous. I hate it. I hate, I hate it. I, I really f hate it. Let me tell you something. If y'all ever wish to be rich and famous, don't wish to be famous. Don't wish to be famous. Wish to be rich yeah y'all see me these couple of days right y'all see that i've been partying going to the club with my nigga everything blah 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 y'all see that i've been in a good mood once i step out once i start doing anything that i have to do with anything that will go on social media it's always always bad i'm so sick of it i'm so sick of it i'm so sick of it i hate it why me? Why me? I feel like God cursed me with fame. Dead ass. Dead fucking ass. God really... I mean, which, which God are you talking about? Because some people worship the devil as God. She knows... You know what I'm saying? She knows what's going on. She... she. Listen, man. The devil cursed you with the fame. Not God. God wouldn't do that. But maybe if you were serving the most high, you wouldn't be going through all this. See, you know, God bless you a whole different way where you don't go through things like that. And the devil give you the get you wanted to be rich and famous, right? Yeah, you, you wanted to be rich, but you wanted to be famous too. You wanted everybody to know your name. The devil gave you what you wanted. 
You feel me? Got it. Deal with it, Cardi. Stop crying. You feel me? The devil blessed you with fame, not God. She got this far intentionally and consciously. She signed multiple contracts. She's done multiple things in public and behind closed doors to get to the point she's at. She knows what she's done. She's just experiencing it now. I feel like God cursed me with fame. Dead ass. God did not curse Dead me with fame. Dead fucking ass. God really cursed me with fame because fame is just like, oh, God. Oh, I hate it here. Like, if I could click my fucking feet three times and go back to fucking 2013, when I was just a regular bitch, dancing and making money every single night, that's where I want to be. Wow. That's when I was me. Not, not even 2016, that's when I was me. This whole go by the book stuff, got to watch what you say, got to watch what you do. This is not me, bro. This is just, this is ridiculous. I don't even understand how, how I always get in trouble. I feel like I'm always in trouble. I feel like I'm, I'm a celebrity that always be in the principal's office, bro. <coughs> oh goodness gracious <laughs> like do y'all do y'all understand have you ever been i don't know if it was y'all but me i was always that kid that like in school that i'd be like today i'm gonna behave good i'm gonna behave good i'm gonna behave good and for some reason you end up in trouble and you always end up in the principal the supervisor's office that's how i feel when it comes to fame like no matter what i do and how good i try to behave i always end up up in the principal's office. That's how I feel about fame, bro. Cause it's like this. Ah, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I just hope you guys have a good day. And thank you guys. Bye. Yo, so listen, man. Y'all gotta tell me what y'all think, man. Do y'all think Cardi career is being controlled? You feel me? Or you think she just blown it out of proportion, man? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Dollars No Change. If it ain't about money, it ain't about a motherfucking thing. Listen, listen, listen. Like, share, and subscribe to your boy, you dig. Listen, 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 listen.